Well, we uh, really liked the film. Uh, a lot of good work in this film. And uh, the players played really hard uh, like we needed to. And we played smart and stayed out of our own way for the most part. Uh, made it a game we didn't give them um, much. And, and so they really had to earn it. And it worked out really well for us, really in all phases. Um, we, uh, defense played a really good football game to hold these guys down. And they did it throughout. Um, offensively, we, we got off to a pretty good start and were able to find a good drive in the fourth quarter to put it away. So we pretty much put a full, a full game together and uh, didn't turn the ball over and, and really made good decisions with the ball and all that. And in, this, in the kicking game, we kept it neutral. Uh, we thought this was the best group we, we had seen to date and, and uh, special teams. And so our guys did a nice job matching up there. So it gave us a, an opportunity to put together a really good football game when we needed it and <clears throat> got a, you know, gave us a really good Good night at the at Sea Link, so it was a lot of fun. Have you heard from? Uh, yeah, that does it. <laughs> Have you heard from Neil deGrasse Tyson yet? He hasn't called me back yet. I've, um, I'm waiting for a call. How did that play look on film? It looked like uh, guys running really fast, and he pitched the ball backwards, just like he's supposed to. And as the speed of the ball that was traveling with the ball carrier at the time was passed along the football, so it all just happened. Everything moved. I just want to see uh, what Dr. Neal has to say about that, try to help you guys out. Because it was clearly looked like he pitched the ball backwards. But <laughs> everybody kept moving. So we'll see what happens. Is it safe to say you don't coach that? You'd rather him not take that risk, or is that OK? No, I do, I do not not coach that. You, you actually coach to do that? That's really what that double negative meant, yeah. <laughs> No, here's here's a, I, I was taught a long time ago, uh, really by Coach Grant, that uh, if you have really good players, really good athletes, and they feel comfortable, um, laterals are one of the best plays in the game. He said that years ago, and uh, there's some guys we tell you, you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's but there are some guys, and, and uh, I think Russ made the point about about working with Mike. Mike was you could see Mike was looking for the ball, and. Uh, so sometimes those special moments happen, and, and terrific players, you know, pull it off. But it's not something that's, that's going to happen, you know, on a regular basis. What, what's your relationship like with Neil deGrasse Tyson? Well, he's not, I wouldn't say a close personal friend, but uh, he did visit here, and so we had some we had an afternoon together. So um, he really likes football, so I felt like it was, you know, that's enough of an open ticket to go ahead and give him a call on something like this. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, national resident guru and stuff like this. So. I'm sure he'll, I, I'm really hoping and I'm, I'm counting on him responding before long so we can put it out there to him. It's Mike Davis too. How, just how big of a boost did he give you last night both in the, in the receiving He game? looked really good. Mike, Mike plays very aggressive. Um, he's, he, he demonstrates his quickness uh, and toughness. You know, he's got a nice combination and uh, the fact that he catches the ball well too, um, uh, you know, gives gives him a chance to be a well-rounded player, and, and we haven't had a lot of shots at him, showing us his stuff. But we saw enough in preseason, and his preseason stuff has carried over to the few opportunities he's had. And uh, I thought he gave us a spark again, you know, and I thought you could see it and feel it. And um, you know, pretty pretty good. You touched on this a little bit this morning, but just how much over these last few games is the depth showing up? Whether it's guys replacing injured guys or just young guys stepping up. Yeah, you know, I know you guys probably think that sometimes you're just saying, well, hey, the next guy's going to be great and all that, you know, and we tell you we're not worried about it. But I'm telling you what we feel. Like, uh, I think Bradley has shown you that he's a legitimate football player and he can step in and do stuff. And whether it's, uh, you know, the, the the rotations where Frank has taken over for Cliff or, you know, and, you know, you're seeing, you know, the depth come through and uh, very fortunately picked picked up uh, Byron and he's done a nice job and, and given us experience and you know kind of wherewithal that helps um, you know when when Jay Lane played he did he did well and here comes Shaq and Shaq came back in and did good again you know and so um, you know we feel pretty good about it and the, it's happened in the offensive line a little bit too you know now that, that you can see with the the mix of, of Luke working with uh, with Dwayne over there, that that's worked out fine, and, and Posick has been able to move and do that. And all those things have worked out okay, you know. Nick Vanette's playing really good football for us and filling in, and so we're okay, you know. We're 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 still growing though. I, I you know I, I wish it was a done deal. We know exactly whatever how everything fits together, but we we can only go with what we have, and we feel positive about it. We're fairly healthy, and and uh, you know we're entering the fourth quarter of this season with hopes of really you know doing some good work. 
Oh, and back in training camp about liking just the overall roster. Is this kind of a, that coming to light now? I think it's absolutely. You know, we've you know, absolutely shown itself, and, and uh, it's even held up with special teams too. You know, and we've been through a lot of guys there too, in the core group guys there, and, and uh, the guys that have stepped up have done a really nice job. Um, Thompson's done well, and, and uh, you know, coming out of nowhere for us and doing great stuff. And Hill has done well, and those guys are helping us, and so really important that they do and they have and so we're feeling pretty strong that we can just keep getting better we'll see what happens how much of a benefit has it been for Quentin Jefferson not to have a club on his hand last couple yeah he's really it's been obvious it's been obvious that he's been more effective you know I mean he's you know playing with a Gatorade bottle on his hand you can't you can't play you know like he could and he's uh he's been active anyway but he's been more effective and I think he's showing up even more so um he's he's fits right into the rotation so it's very big positive for us the way Justin Coleman has come on, I mean, traded for him right before the season, and the, what he's done for you this year, just kind of the boost I guess that's been, and what, what is he, I know you saw him for a couple of days a couple of years ago, but what kind of different player is he now? That yeah, you know, we really saw him on film at New England to really, you know, kind of validate what, you know, what we thought. We didn't learn enough in the time he was here. Um, but he took on all the challenges. He had lots of matchups with them. You know, we saw it on film, and, and uh, I mean, they must really be good because they were able to get, you know, give him up to us. Because um, he's done a great job. Yeah, he's been active and um, very tight and very aggressive in his coverage. Um, so he's been a great addition. I mean, that's really John and his guys figuring that out. You know, they they pulled him off the film and and got him to us, and it's worked out really well. There was so much talk last week about how tough Philly's front seven was. How did you feel the offensive line stood up to the challenge? Well, I think that they showed that they are really tough and they're really good. They're hard. They're hard to deal with. Um, that's a loaded crew. Um, Graham was really a factor. Brandon Graham, he, he was I mean, moving him around. Was uh, he was effective and difficult for us, and uh, they they just keep bringing it. I thought we, you know, with. With Russell's, you know, ability to move and escape ability, we were able to deal with them. You know, we handled them a lot of times with really good protection. In the times when we couldn't hold it up and they'd, they'd penetrate, you know, Russ found a way to get away from them. And Russ took off a few times early, you know, and and, and caused some of the pressure, which he does. And, and uh, but all in all, you know, we ran the ball for a little bit and protected for a little bit, and it was enough to get us a good game. What, how did Byron Maxwell play? Yesterday, and, and I guess has he kind of reacclimated himself to this defense? Maybe there's than... no question he has. Yeah, he, he's he's gone right back, technique wise, and and jumped back into the the style of play, and, and he's showing really good consistency. Um, you know, he's he's a natural right side guy, and so he has to adapt a little bit to play on the other side, and which he's doing. Um, you know, he had a couple plays. He got he got rubbed off on the on the touchdown pass. You know, unfortunately, and and. Uh, Put him in a trail position, and, and uh, Wentz made a great throw. And on the other one, this remarkable throw he makes when he's falling down, it just he just misjudged the ball, you know. And so those are those two plays that, other than that, he played great and, and uh, had a nice pick and had a breakup and, and tackled well and did some really good things and giving us really solid play. And what's great about it, and he's been around, you know, he's been through it. And, and uh, when you lose a guy of the stature of, of, of Sherm, you know, how do you replace that? Well, this was the guy who was his sidekick for a few years, you know, back back then. And, and uh, so it's really been a nice addition for us. We've been very fortunate it's worked out. As great as Bobby Wagner's been, how much has he benefited from Sheldon Richardson in front of him? No, I think it's a good tie-in. Uh, Sheldon is a really, he's a factor. He's a factor in forcing the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's been around, think how much he's been around the football already, you know, go back to the Rams game and, and here he is now again. And uh, he, he has been a, a great facilitator for other guys' sacks. <laughs> he's been close, causes the problems, and other guys make the sacks. So uh, we, we, you know, we see the value there, and, and uh, I think he's really a good player. So that only makes Bobby, you know, more effective. It just helps him. Uh, he holds the line of scrimmage well. He's a good reader. He, he takes care of his gaps and responsibilities and stuff, and that allows Bobby to play fast and did KJ you, too. Did you know he was this athletic? The, the play he made running down blunt at the goal line yesterday from about 15 yards, you knew, I guess, you knew he had athleticism. We, we saw good film on him, and we, we were able to, you know, to evaluate his versatility. He, he actually moved around a little bit more there than he's done here so far. Um, so we've seen the versatility and the, he's got just really good awareness and savvy and all that. Um, it shows up really every game.
He, he does something special, and he's a really good reader and feels the line of scrimmage and gets off blocks well. Sometimes he even gets, you know, he might get double teamed, but he'll spin out of it and make a play, and that's uh, just good sense and good, good football awareness. The, the 47 yard play to Baldwin when I think they were bringing a zero blitz, what all goes into beating a blitz like that? Hmm. Well, it's, uh, it, it really starts with the quarterback. He has to know what's going on and he's got to, you know, do what he needs to do. I'm not going to go into the details about that, if you don't mind. But he has to start the whole thing and recognize it, and then help the line understand what's what's coming. And so, sometimes, you know, Justin can help him out too. But basically, the quarterback has to see it, and he makes the adjustments from there. Um, whether it's what we do with protection or the routes or both, you know, he's involved with all of that. And then you have to. Then the guys all have to. It has to get communicated and then executed, and then you got to hook up the throw under under duress because you you know that they're coming and often they're bringing a guy you can't block. So um, it takes a lot of a lot of stuff, but it's really uh, it goes back to the experience of the quarterback and his ability to stay poised in that moment and then and take advantage of the opportunity. And Russell's you know pretty good at it. You mentioned the fourth quarter coming up here. Just big picture where you see this team. Of the way well, we're, it's fourth quarter, and we have the opportunity to control everything. You know, that's that's all we could hope for. And uh, every game we have is a, is a championship match, and we got to play them all the way out, and figure that you got to win every one of them that week you play them. And, and uh, this was a really good, a really good test this week. It was a great test for us at home, um, just because of the the level of the play of, of these guys. They, they're a fantastic team, and our guys know. They know now. You know, we can we can deal with whatever's coming down. We guys we just got to do it one one week at a time. How big was Frank's game for you last night too? I think he'd gone four or five games without a full sack, and, and then to have that kind of performance last night, how, how critical was that? Uh, it, it, terrific performance by Frankie. He, he was all over the place. Um, you saw him a lot on the right side, you know, where he had been earlier in the year. We had, we had flipped him to the left side um, and uh, for a couple of weeks, and it, he just seems better and quicker and, and uh, more productive on the right side. It looks to be pretty clear after this game. So it's just a good thing going into the stretch here. And, um, he plays so hard, you know, and he's so fast. The, his second sack, I don't know if you guys don't, you can't see it on the TV copy, but you'll get, or maybe you get a chance to look at it. The, the violent change of direction that he made to get get up and underneath on the pass rush was a phenomenal play, and uh, at a you know critical time too. He's he's just getting started. Frank's gonna he's gonna get a lot better. Um, it's fun to watch him grow, and we love the way he plays and the style of his play. You mentioned Chris Carson this morning. Do you have any clear idea if he's got a chance to come back this week? Or uh, no, he won't make it this week. Not yet. What is it that he's done in his process that's impressed him? He's but healed really well. You know, he's healing. He's he's able to. Um, he's out there changing direction and hitting it pretty hard right now. That this is a big week for him to prove that maybe he has a chance in the next couple of weeks. You know, and um, we're not trying to push him too too soon. But he is a uh, he's a really well conditioned guy, and he works really hard at it. This is his natural way, you know, and so it's carried over to really being a great asset in his rehab. And he's he's maxed out the process, and he's uh, he's beaten the time frames. So uh, it looks good. Will Deshaun shed practice this week? Um, it's really close. It may happen, it may not, but it's really close. And we're talking about it uh, through tomorrow, and we'll see see on Wednesday what we're doing. Yeah, I think it, every time you go out there, it's a unique experience because it's so crazy and so good, you know. And I mean, every time's like like the best time ever, and uh, the fans were just on it, you know. It was a perfect perfect response to the event and the, and the, the matchup and all that and Sunday night and. You know, I don't know. It couldn't couldn't be better. So it was great. I saw our guys on the sidelines were getting whooped up in there, you know, trying to get the crowd going as were some of the coaches, and uh, yeah, it was it's really fun to connect with them in that way. It's a very special relationship we have with our fans. We're very fortunate to have it. The players, a few of them, Bradley McDougal, one of them, talked about the, they, the perception they were being slighted or that the defense wasn't as good because they didn't have their all their starters with them. How much did, in retrospect did that fuel last week and last night? Do you think they fed off of any of that? You know, I, I don't. I, I don't hear them talking like that. We, it's not in our conversation, so I don't know. But I'm sure maybe in the locker room they're kicking it around or whatever. And they, you know, they know what's out there. You guys, you guys are putting out a lot of information for them, so they're they're picking it up and and uh, they've got a lot of pride too. I thought somebody said there's a number that uh, uh, points allowed 
um, before Cam and, and Sherm left and points a lot after they've left and I think it's pretty close you know I don't know if, I don't know what that number is but I heard it was pretty similar so um, you know that's a big statement you know if we're able to maintain the same kind of uh, points production and, and keeping it down um, with the new guys in there I mean that's, that's you know that's what you're looking for and it's, that's the end of it yeah it's all about those points you know so um, and we're going to try to get better. I think we can improve. Our, our communication is going to get better. We'll, we'll just improve as we're out there more so. And, um, and Shaq just got back for the first time playing with Bradley. So it's, um, you know, that's strong safety. So it, all that's going to help. What do you anticipate for a Deion Jordan and Nas Jones this week? Um, coming in, um, Nas is still a really big question mark whether he's going to make it back or not. Um, uh, Deion... A little bit less of, of a question, but we still have to see him, what he can do. And, and it's all about him returning to full strength. And, and uh, so as much as I, would, I was kind of feeling like he was going to for sure be back this week, I'm not sure until we get to Wednesday. And we'll just have to wait a couple of days to figure that out. It cooled my jets a little bit, so to speak. Anything else? All right, guys.